Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Vinyl Fetish, Washington DC edition. I'm in Washington DC uh, because there are Nazis coming to town. What year is this? Uh, I did an event last night, a congressional teach-in about hate. We'll include a little link. It was broadcast live on C-SPAN so you can see some of the non-musical things I like to talk about, like Nazis coming to town and what we should do about it. Uh, and I'm supposed to be on a plane right now heading back home to Portland, but it got delayed because of bad weather in New York. I don't know what's going on in New York. So I'm hanging out here in Alexandria, and it turns out Washington, D.C. has some good record stores. I was kind of excited to see that. I'm staying at a friend's in Alexandria, so I thought what I'd do is go to a record store here, uh, check it out. Um, and so I went to a place called Crooked Beat Records on North Fairfax Street. And I rushed there. I was doing some writing uh, up for my blog um, at the Starbucks in the Trump International Hotel <laughs> by the Capitol. I just like irony because I'm from Portland, so I just thought it would be ironic to write nasty things about Donald Trump in his hotel. Um, and uh, so I raced uh, back to Val Alexandria uh, and took a lift to Crooked Beat. And it's a great record story. You go downstairs, really small, and lots of vinyl all around. Just You're just surrounded by vinyl, you're surrounded by punk rock, surrounded by rock and roll. Big posters of the jam and Sleater Kitty on the wall. I felt like it was home in Portland. And uh, some good jazz. Um, there was some Bill Evans, tasty Bill Evans I wanted to get. But what I found was something I wasn't looking for, which is what happens when you're record shopping. I found this Red Garland record from 1978. Red Garland, as you probably know, is the great, great uh, piano player from the classic Miles Davis quintet. When, Ma when Miles was playing with John Coltrane, he's on a lot of great records. Um, that you probably know if you listen to Round About Midnight and listen to him come in on Bye Bye Blackbird, that's just sort of that sound of him coming in. Oh yeah, that sounds good. That's the block style where he plays uh, three notes with the right hand and four notes with the left hand, so it's heavy on the bass, about an octave apart. He kind of pioneered that. Mm, that's some good stuff. That's some, that's, so that's Red Garland playing... Uh, on some really important records from the late 1950s, including some Coltrane records, uh, like Soul Train. Um, this was recorded in 78. He stopped recording in 79 and died in 1984. But it's so good. It's so good. It's on Spotify, so we'll include a link to it. Um, it it's just great. I mean, when you think of 70s records, you often think of like weird fusion jazz or Jan Clemmer or Jean-Luc Ponty or some ECM stuff. Like, it just 70s gets all weird when it comes to jazz and nobody was really paying much tribute to the the old post-bop uh, style playing. Red Garland was doing it right up to the end. This is a great record. It, it, it was it cost me 20 bucks plus sales tax, which I have here in Virginia. So, But I, I'm so happy I bought it. I was like, oh, shit, I spent the money on that. Uh, um, some of those other um, more known names like Bill Evans, but oh, so good. So Great buy here in Virginia on the road. Hopefully, if all goes as planned, I'll be on the plane back to Portland tomorrow, trying to get out of town before the Nazis start their madness. And it's just crazy that we're talking about Nazis here on the one-year anniversary of Charlottesville. We just hope that there's peace and love. People are calm, that nobody gets killed like they did a year ago. I think these Nazis um, are just so misled because I know they like music that has black roots. I know the alt-right likes rock and roll, that has its roots in Chuck Berry and the great bluesmen of the Delta. I know that these alt-right guys, even when they get a little tipsy, will love some Bob Marley. I know they love the Beatles who start off playing black music. I know they may even like Michael Jackson occasionally. These Nazis are not so Nazi-ish. They're not listening to Wagner when they go home. They want to listen to stuff like this and have a cocktail. Oh my God, let's get through to these people. Let's let the music heal us. Let's let the music bring us together. Let's let our love for music rooted in black culture be the way of ending this white nationalist nightmare that this country seems to be drifting in. We need more Red Garland records. We need more John Coltrane and Miles Davis and Sarah Vaughn and Eliz uh, Elizabeth Taylor. No, <laughs> Ella Fitzgerald. Oh my God, let's... 
reach out to these people and open their soul with this music that is so uplifting and inspiring. So here's the peace and love. Not that, but that. Seriously, this time, peace and love. No more violence, right? No more white nationalism. No more European chauvinism, Western chauvinism. What are they calling white supremacy these days? Let the music heal our soul, America. Okay? All right. See you from Portland soon.